Hello, in this video I would like to speak about Hematic and PCB lessons which I am uh, preparing and where I would like to share uh, my knowledge and experience from uh, last 10 years uh, while working in hardware design. I really would be happy when after you finish these lessons uh, you feel like you learned something new and uh, you become a better hardware design engineer. You may already know me uh, from uh, my YouTube videos or from Well Done Blog. My name is Robert Feranek and I work as a freelancer for different clients on different projects. Uh, something from my work, for example, here you can see some selected projects uh, which I can speak about. And uh, I was working on Intel Core i5, i7 processor board. I designed a couple of Intel Atom boards and I design many uh, ARM and MIPS ports. Back to the lessons. As I mentioned, it's all about to become better. And many times uh, you may not... Uh, many times it, it is in the details where is the difference between average uh, hardware design engineer and the good hardware design engineer. For example, these uh, schematic conventions imagine you have a schematic which starts with full of components and nets and when you turn the page there is nothing else just components and nets and on the other hand you have a schematic which starts with nice uh, project name with uh, pages uh, and description of every page in the schematic and when you turn the page there is block diagram which explains everything uh, how the uh, how the uh, peripherals and things in the schematic are connected together so that's the difference between average hardware design engineer and the professional approach of hardware design and uh, that's exactly why we will speak about uh, things like uh, folder structure or sorting documents this looks very so small things but these are the things which makes you different from the average hardware design engineer we will speak about creating libraries and uh, generating bombs and, and component management uh, some people think uh, this uh, these four lessons that may be too much it is not too much because uh, it's really important uh, thing to learn and uh, when applied properly it will save you a lot of time it it may save you not hours but it will save you days and weeks of your work uh, this will be very excited uh, part of the of the lessons about checking libraries in schematic i'm not saying i have patent for uh, schematic checking no but uh, I've done uh, last couple of years I've done I've been working on really advanced designs with more than 1200 components and many projects had more like uh, 40 pages of schematic and uh, I have some uh, procedures and uh, and steps how I how I check them and uh, by doing this I was able to achieve results that uh, Version 1, issue 1, the very first uh, board which was produced was sold to customers and uh, maybe with some minor mm, tweaking and improvement version 1, issue 2 was sold to customers but that's it and it means it clearly works so these are the things which we will be speaking about on these lessons for the layout part uh, Yes, we will speak about high-speed design, but we will not go into details. I would like to take the kind of design guide approach. It means uh, we will speak about how to do it, but we will not go too much into details. But when you do it the way, as we learn, it will work. That's the design guide approach next section again many people think what's the important about this it is important because 
when you generate a proper output and put it on your production drive and uh, or send it to your client uh, you will get only minimum or unknown questions from a PCB manufacturer or assembly house and this will not disturb you from from the next project which you will be working on and it means you can get much better results and, and good result uh, on this new project because you are not disturbed uh, with the past projects you can read here yeah I really would like to start it in by end of the January but it depends on on my workload I don't want to make it too long because uh, the lessons could be boring so around one hour and during the lessons you will be working on you can be working on your own project it means you can apply the folder structure on your own project you can add the conventions into your schematic if you don't work on any project currently we will use these uh, files from Voipack and uh, I will mention this uh, module because I've done layout for this module some time ago and I uh, spoke to the owner of this company and we may be able to to use this part of this uh, layout part of this uh, module during the lessons and you can practically try to route a DDR3 memory that, I think that would be really very useful but for the people who doesn't have their own project they can download Altium project files for baseboard and practice uh, improve the schematic, uh, do the differential pair routing and all these things which we will learn about uh, about the Altium design and license I'm really glad Altium company will help us so everyone who doesn't have his own license will get one during the course about the price uh, I know uh, there is a lot of students and a uh, lot of uh, young engineers with limited budget who would like to uh, attend these lessons so I didn't want to go the way like all the other big companies go and ask thousands of dollars for for same lessons I uh, but on the other side I couldn't make it uh, or it would be really difficult to make it completely free because I already had some expenses uh, with it and it takes quite a lot of time so I think uh, the $99 is uh, is uh, is the price uh, which is acceptable for everyone who is really interested about these uh, lessons so don't forget it's all about to become better why we want to become better because uh, you would like to work on interesting projects and to get interest to get good experience and once you get good experience you can get really good job and it means you can get much better salary much more money and if you think uh, the subjects and uh, these lessons can help you to become better engineer uh, tell your friends uh, google for federal academy and sign up for these lessons thank you very much for uh, watching this video and uh, See you soon.